What's going on guys? My name is Sam. I'm Sadie. And in today's video, we are going to talk about our experience with long distance relationships. Yeah, we've had requests about this video since we started our YouTube channel last year. If you're new here, you will know, or I guess you won't know, that <laughs> uh, we actually met long distance. You can watch our How We Met video, but yeah, we feel like we're pretty equipped to talk about long distance relationships since our entire relationship was very long distance mm -hmm. yeah some people will tell us like you know hey um you know we're long distance we're like an hour away i'm like try six and a half hours away that's... well we started out like 13 hours away that's true yeah because yeah. i was up in uh, in cleveland and she was all the way down in alabama and uh we actually i flew in a in a plane i did not fly the plane but i flew in the plane mm -hmm. uh down to atlanta to come meet her so yeah, I think we're pretty uh, pretty well qualified and uh, we want to just share with you guys some of our experiences and then just kind of, you know, it was it worth it? I mean, obviously we got married, so it was worth it. But for you guys who are weighing, you know, is this something that would be worth it for me to try? Would this ever be something I'd be willing to try? So do you want to start with our disadvantages or... You got like something like on your yeah. lip. I feel that. Yeah. Get it. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, nobody can see that right no okay. not, not anymore um <laughs> so i want to go ahead and start with some of the actual advantages of doing long distance relationships because I, I feel like everybody knows about the disadvantages of it you know obviously you spend less time with each other you know that kind of thing face to face um but one of the main advantages is intentionality mm -hmm. so would you kind of care to uh share about like how intentional we had to be with the way that we talk to each other with questions you know like the advantages of that yeah well there's advantages with the intentionality whether you're on your facetime season or whether you're like in person with your significant other mm -hmm. um but with the intentionality i know that over facetime when we would talk we weren't just talking about like well what's your favorite this and that what you do today whatever we obviously talked about those things but we really had to be intentional about getting to know each other and because we weren't in person we couldn't just go to a movie and go on dates that way um we just had to communicate and talk all the time which made us get to know each other very quickly mm -hmm. um and then when we were in person just being intentional with the time we had because we knew it was very few and far between we'd go a month or two without seeing each other um and that was hard so just learning how to really be present with your significant other whether that's facetime or in person and just making it your mission to get to know them mm -hmm. even more well you you really run out of those like you know how's your day been you know what did you do today kind of questions you run out of those really quickly so we dug really really deep as far as the questions that we asked each mm -hmm. other and the conversations that we had and so you know because we weren't able to do things like go play putt putt golf together or go bowling or go you know wherever and have like those activities it was nothing but talking which is a disadvantage in some ways but it was a mm -hmm. huge advantage in that we couldn't really hide who we were we couldn't you know just fall in love with like you know I don't know I mean obviously we could tell that you know that we were attracted to one another but there wasn't anything other than us and the conversation and that person's personality and their you know all of their goals and interests and all those things so it was really isolating who Sadie was and it really isolated who I was um, talking like that so that was a big advantage yeah, um, can you think of any other like advantages that there were to long distance or does it pretty much just like start and end at that well I think that another advantage and this just popped into my mind but since you're not with the person you still get your own life does that make sense like you still are spending time with your family and friends and mm -hmm. you're not 
putting your significant other in a position where you could idolize them and just like not talk to anybody else or do anything else in your life. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you're still talking to them. You're still prioritizing them a ton. But I think sometimes with in-person relationships, you're only seeing your significant other. You're only spending time with them. And you may notice that you're spending or prioritizing your friends and family like a lot less. Um, Do you agree with that? It looks like you disagree. (laughs) No. It's not that I disagree. I just think that, you know, there there can also be cases, I think, where you could still do all the idolizing and still spend oh, all that I, time, even on FaceTime or even yeah, I on text. Um, I do see what you're saying, though. It, it really did, in our situation, it really did force us not to, you know, spend every waking mm-hmm. moment together, which, you know, can be a good and a bad thing, just depending on, you know, where your priorities are. Obviously, Christ, your walk with the Lord, um, and your family and everything needs to be the priority up until you get married Mm -hmm. and then it's like you know god way up here and then it's you guys together and then um, everything else and then everything else but yeah i think that for us it it ended up being a really healthy thing that we were not able to you know see each other all the time because i do think that you know and even in marriage like it's it's difficult sometimes to kind of be your own person mm-hmm. sometimes like yeah. i play basketball or i play football sometimes like once a week which is really nice because it it allows me to still kind of you know feel young in a <laughs> like mm-hmm. I, I'm, I know I am very young but sometimes you just gotta you gotta feel young yeah you definitely still want to have your own outlets Mm -hmm. for yourself um i would say another advantage is you're able to which you can do this in person but i feel like an advantage of long distance is that you really can still grow a lot with your relationship with god and with each other because you and i would do like our bible studies and we'd facetime and do bible study and i know a lot of my friends would do that do that in person with their significant other too so it has nothing to do with the long distance thing um, well, I just think it goes back to that intentionality where on FaceTime, you obviously can't like distract yourselves by let's go like shoot basketball for a little while or whatever. We have to be talking about something and being intentional about something. So, yeah, I, I agree with that. I think that there are a lot less options when you're on FaceTime. So a Bible study makes a lot of sense. Uh, obviously, you know, you hope that you have discipline to do that in person too, but it's just, uh, you know, it's another benefit. Mm -hmm. Um, With that being said, I cannot think of any more advantages. Should we now get to the, you know, the warning section where we tell people about how awful, awful long distance is? I would say one of the negatives that comes to mind is if you are someone that struggles with trust issues or insecurity or something like that long distance may be harder for you because you don't see the person a lot you obviously don't talk to them all the time Um, but it's also a great opportunity to grow in that area and to trust the person that you're dating I never, neither of us ever had trust issues with each other because we communicated so well and we knew who the other person was. But if you tend towards just being more paranoid, um, that could be something that you work through with your significant other. Mm -hmm. But that would be a harder aspect of long distance, in my opinion. That's one thing that comes to mind. Yeah, well, I think that it's a lot more difficult to kind of keep tabs on the person that you're dating. Well, I mean, you can't. Not that, yeah. Not that either one of us like did that. We're like, where are you? Where are you? See, I always wanted her to know because I'm just, I just consider myself like such a, you know, this sounds like such a like flex, but like I'm such a considerate person (laughs) because. I just wanted her to never like question like, okay, what's he doing right now? He hasn't texted me in a really long time and he's like, you know, just been gone somewhere for a really long time. I just never wanted there to be any kind of question on that. I think Um, just being considerate, like you said, if you communicate to the person, hey, I'm about to be playing basketball for the next couple hours, so you may not hear from me. Yeah, I'm going to be away from my phone for a little while. Yeah, then there's no question for Mm -hmm. that person. Um, And obviously, if you know that they're not hanging out with the other 
sex like alone and stuff like that mm -hmm. um then you don't have anything to worry about in that regard yeah um i think that a lot more insecurity happens if you know that they are hanging out with if you were hanging out with some random group of girls or a random girl or whatever i would have definitely been like okay what's that <laughs> <laughs> yeah well i mean thankfully me and sadie like neither one of us had any like friends that were like not our friends yeah that were like others. not our friends significant others i was trying to find a way to say that that didn't make it sound confusing you did a way better job than i was about mm -hmm. to do but i think that we just we had a lot of trust for each other um and, and we could just tell just from the way that we talk i think that one of the big things that you're gonna have to really figure out if you're long distance is are you a good judge of character or not mm -hmm. because if you're a bad judge of character someone could really be pulling a fast one you know really be pulling the wool over your eyes doing that so if you are not 100 percent sure that you know what this person's about if there's anything that's kind of shady that kind of like doesn't add up and they're like yeah um i'm gonna go over to uh my grandmother's house um and blah 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 and then they like go to their grandmother's house every friday night you know right after they get off work and then they don't answer their phone until morning the next day you know like just you know kind of put like two and two together because people can can definitely do some weird things things um you have to watch out for like catfishing if like you've never met somebody in person like i don't know if you guys have ever heard of manti teo but he was a he was a linebacker for notre dame this is story time for her too so he was a linebacker at notre dame and he had this girlfriend this girlfriend that he basically was in this online long distance relationship with and he had been with her for like years and then and it was like a highly publicized thing on espn for some reason and then he found out that it was a dude pretending to be a girl wow. and literally I mean his whole career his whole reputation yeah. was like completely like destroyed because of it so like people can do some weird mm. stuff so like if people are acting shady or th if they give you any reason to be concerned be concerned so that's a huge disadvantage of <laughs> long well, distance I think that that goes back to our discernment as Christians look at the fruit of their lives how they talk to you mm -hmm. can you tell that they really are a christian by the way they're talking um if they never ever talk about their faith or if they just don't seem very serious about it or if they have contradicting beliefs where they say that they are a christian but they're wanting to take you to their room <laughs> or do a number of things i think that just really use your god-given discernment for that mm -hmm. and that could answer a lot of your questions at the end of the day if yeah. you look at someone's character compare that to scripture if there's some red flags with that then for long distance you won't bump into them at the grocery store <laughs> so. that's right so yeah i mean exactly like what sadie said you know jesus says in the bible that if if they love him that you will that they'll keep his commandments mm -hmm. i mean that's that's how you can tell that someone is a real genuine born again christian mm -hmm. and uh it should be no difference long distance it can just be a little bit more difficult to tell and see someone's fruits because they can very easily you know they can very easily hop on a call and look really good but right. you won't be able to necessarily know all of their family and friends and see the way they treat everybody else and be able to see those fruits for yourself Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, it can add some difficulty, but listen, if you've met somebody that you think is really nice, really wonderful, and you think that they might be worth pursuing a godly relationship with, hop on a Bible study Zoom or FaceTime call and just kind of see where it goes. Have, you know, have your guard up, guard your heart, um, and just be prayed up, be in God's word so that you can have plenty of discernment mm -hmm. and uh, just take it slow. Don't be like us and, and you know, meet at the airport port in between because if I had been a crazy you know stalker serial yeah. killer she could have been dead and that was me trusting the vibes that you were giving <laughs> that's a very bible concept there I was just trusting his vibes you know no I was no. I had no bad feelings about you and yeah our parents had talked on FaceTime too yeah my mom knew that you had parents and you weren't just some random kidnapper so 
Ask to FaceTime his mom. That might be a good thing. Cause and if, ask your friends and family what they genuinely think yeah. about the person, too. Yeah. Um, but um, that's just kind of mm -hmm. our experience with long distance. If you guys have more specific questions about it, um, yeah, you can leave a comment about it. We may make another video if you guys want more. I know that there's bound to be some of you guys that are going through long distance, and you may be struggling or you may be thriving. Um, <laughs> but the season, all seasons in life come to an end. So if you're in the thick of it and you're like, am I ever going to get to the end of this long distance? You absolutely will. Um, depends how long you want to date. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, life passes really quickly. So just cherish even the hard times. I couldn't have said it any better myself, honey. Well, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe because we're going to be putting out a lot more content like this. Huge thank you to our patrons that support us every single month. If you are interested in supporting our ministry, we'll leave a link down in the comments and in the description below. Yep. We love every single one of you, and we will see you guys next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.